Am I the asshole? For laughing at my ex and her husband for asking to have our daughter for another month. For some context I was married to my ex-wife Ida for 21 years before she cheated and remarried to her now dick of a husband Dan. We have four kids together. Henry, Zach, Cam, and Rory. This situation only really involves Rory. Since my boys were teens young adults when we divorced they got to choose who they lived with. Rory on the other hand didn't. I have Rory most of the time I pay for her schooling, medical, extracurriculars, act. While Ida and Dan get her every other holiday and don't really pay for stuff. Well for the 4th of July Rory went over to Ida and Dan's then stayed there until about a week before school started. Rory confided in me that the whole time she was there she couldn't really do anything fun and was stuck watching her younger siblings while Dan and Ida went out. She told me she felt like a babysitter more than a daughter, which hurt my heart for Rory, since she was really excited to see her mother. She also told me she'd like to stick with visits again and not staying for a whole month or two. Well about two nights ago I got a call from Ida, she seemed happy and started talking about Rory and how she liked it there. She continued to ramble a bit before asking for me to ask Rory about staying another month. I laughed which caused Ida to be mad and she hung up. Dan texted me calling me an ass for laughing at her, and my brother said it was kind of mean to do. Am I the asshole? Edit I honestly didn't mean to laugh, I don't know why I did. Not the asshole protect your daughter if she feels that she doesn't want to go there anymore or wants to restrict her visits because of her mother's actions support her in this you are doing the right thing by your child and that is all you need to do. Not the asshole. When someone says something laughably ridiculous you laugh. It was a natural reaction and I don't blame you one bit. If I had to guess, she probably believed that since she and Rory probably don't get along nor have the same relationship you and Rory have, she assumed Rory didn't tell you anything about being their babysitter. Oh well. Looks like your ex hasn't given up her penchant for lying. Not the asshole. You saw through your ex's BS and she got upset with it. Sounds like you're doing what's best for your daughter, and I do and Dan are upset about not having a free sitter any longer. Not the asshole. Your daughter is 15, she can choose who she wants to live with. Make a request to the judge to change custody and make a request for her mother to pay her share of her daughter's expenses. Not the asshole. She's calling you to ask Rory because if she she asks Rory herself she knows she will say no. But if it comes from you, maybe she has a chance to get herself a free live-in nanny. Not the asshole. Laughing can be an uncontrollable reaction to a horrible lie. Simply tell Dan that if his wife is going to continue to make hilariously bad attempts to lie to get a free, live-in nanny, you will continue to laugh at it. Not the asshole get a lawyer op. If Rory doesn't want to go back then you can make that happen with one. It's always refreshing to read about a parent that actually cares about their children. Not the asshole. You laughed because you know the reason she was babysitting and as far as you're concerned they are just a big joke. I'd be laughing all the way to the house to pick up my daughter. Not the asshole. Why is your brother prioritizing your ex-wife's precious feelings over your daughter? Your daughter's safety and well-being is the top priority, always no exceptions. His response is alarming, and not what you want your daughter to be learning when dealing with us. The greatest lesson my parents taught me was that it's not my job to manage other people's feelings. It's certainly not my responsibility to make my life worse to placate others. Don't let your brother teach your daughter that. Please. Not the asshole you know why she wants her there and she realized you know and she's embarrassed that she not only got caught but that you laughed at her and her pathetic behavior. She feels humiliated bc she knows how wrong this is and that your daughter didn't enjoy it. Not the asshole now that she's 15 it may be time to adjust the custody agreement. Not the asshole. She's mad she won't have a free babysitter. Not the asshole. If you don't want to be laughed at, don't act like a clown. 
Not the arsehole I was the built-in babysitter for my younger half-siblings. I love them dearly but I didn't like being unpaid labor, and stuck home constantly. Don't let them use your daughter in this manner. She is the one that is unhappy, she may even be too scared to tell her mom, so you must advocate on her behalf. Not the asshole. They think you don't know that your child is their live in babysitter. Did you tell her why Rory doesn't want to go? Nope, screw them both. Get your daughter back and forget those two losers, Rory certainly will once she's 18. Not the asshole. I mean, the whole timing of it was pretty funny. I would contact ex-wife and explain that you laughed because of the timing of the whole thing and that just before she called Rory had already expressed her feelings about staying over for extended periods of time and that you won't make her do anything she doesn't want to do. Nata. Nice. Op, you're fine. Civility is a must because, you know, we like to think of ourselves as decent. But a cheater never deserves nice. Because every cheater I have known takes nice as condonement for and acceptance of their behavior. Not the asshole your daughter is not a babysitter and your ex is still a liar. Not the asshole. I don't know if it was intentional or not, sometimes I can't help but let her laugh out. But it sounds like they really want her there for babysitting purposes, and that isn't fair to your daughter. I'm sure she feels badly about not having a closer relationship with her, and then this just makes it worse. Nata who cares about your ex's feelings? Bring your kid home and be the bad guy when the longer visits come back up. Not the asshole they just want free babysitting and Rory hated it. Wait till your daughter starts laughing at her. Good luck.